we're actually one of the primary destinations in the world or the primary place in the world that is recognized for appreciating dance music. New DJs coming up, young, fresh, like really, really creative DJs. The music is now, in my opinion, at a world class level from all genres of music. The clubbing and dance scene in Cape Town is the reason I moved here from Johannesburg 15 years ago. Um, it's quite inspirational, it's not narrow minded. Cape Town supports a lot of different substructures and subgenres drum and bass, uh, trance, house, uh, hip hop, and RB have all enjoyed success in the city. Yeah, Cape Town in general is a very creative place. So, I mean, given, given that culture of you know, ecstatic sort of dance music and everything like that, I think it's the perfect place. And, and people are coming out with fire here. South Africa's got the potential to not only be a beautiful country for tourists to come back to, but also a place for where international people can come party year after year. And I think. Uh, in saying that, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to inspire people to come back here and party. We try and inspire people to DJ, to be performers, to be entertainers, and um, that's what the industry is about, eh? entertaining people. something for everyone in Cape Town and I mean we've been very blessed in the last couple of years guys are really stepping up their game having played all over South Africa from Durban to Joburg to PE to Bloemfontein Cape Town's just got a, a better headspace in terms of being more upfront with their music uh, wanting something a little bit edgier and a little bit more different than what's out there and the inspiring thing is how much good music and original music is coming out of Cape Town at the moment. Uh, from bands like Good Luck through to Pascal and Pierce, obviously Goldfish being pioneers for that jazzy house sound that they do. For whatever sort of subgenre of music you're into, this is the place to be. We like to incorporate every kind of musicality into any of our tracks. So if we're feeling a track that's going one way, I think we'll kind of stick it to that niche, but I mean, we're open to anything, whether it's funky, whether it's electro, whether it's banging, whether it's dirty, whether it's dubstep, whether it's anything, we just kind of go with the groove that we're feeling with. At the moment, it's all about being appreciative to everything and kind of, you know, keeping to the strictly dance kind of scene, whether it's funky, electro, disco, whatever it is, it's all hot. Well, Pascal and Pierce have pretty much just been making waves, I think, um, you know, with any with any artist that starts to to, to bubble, um, you just start hearing their name around a lot. You see them, start seeing them on on the bill of big parties. The, the guys uh, did a very cool remix of Hop On Hop Off. It's been ceded to loads of DJs from Ibiza to Mallorca, and um, not just that remix. There were like three versions of different remixes, um, and, and, and some big names. I won't mention any, but some pretty big name DJs on an international scale. And the one that everyone keeps coming back and saying, "We love this." is the Pascal and Pierce remix of Hop on a Wolf. I just think there's a lot of really good energy at the moment in Cape Town and it's almost like guys are feeding off it, each other and exactly. they're pushing each other to make better and better music and it's, it's a very inspirational place to be right now. Um, South Africa's got the, ta the talent, it's got the infrastructure, I think we just need some direction and I think we'll be winning some, some good things. To me, uh, Fresh is always important and Pascal and Pierce is, is just that. What is important is, is the now generation and uh, these guys are definitely just like really turning the scene on. It's it. The kind of people that they're teaming up with, from what I'm hearing, it's exactly what's needed to, to cross things over, you know, similar to what's been happening internationally, you know, where dance music producers are teaming up with all these live musicians. Working on the, the track Disco Sun was really awesome. I think, you know, for, for me as a vocalist, it was a great experience to work with two guys who um, I think are fantastic uh, producers and you know they brought me a backtrack that um, was pretty much finished and they said you know do do a cool top line 
and um, then Pascal and Pierre, I, I was nervous, I played it to them and they were like, no, it's really cool. And then we came back in here and we recorded it on the most awesome AKG microphone and I think it's a good track, I think it sounds really good and they've mixed it well, it's a good dance track. Dance music's moved away from that minimalist kind of vein that it went through and I think you know, the public are a lot more responsive to that and I think that's a very cool thing that, that, that the guys have done. Her voice is so suited to the song because not only does it tie in to dance, but it, it also gives you a kind of um, almost a classical feeling. And I find that her ambition and her talent is also so high. And again, it's such a pleasure to work with such amazing artists of her caliber. The Good Luck guys, I mean, we've been playing gigs with them since, since PMP started, some of our first gigs. We've got a lot of respect for those guys. They do what they do really well. And it was a pleasure to have Jules vocal to one of our tracks. What's really cool is that a lot of artists are doing a lot of collabs with each other, which has never been happened before really in South Africa. So we're kind of very, really, very, very fortunate to be in kind of pioneering that idea just to be collective with each other and I think it's really working well. I think to survive or to make an impact people tend to, to um, uh, work a lot with each other, collaborate and the sound that comes out is always a sort of a hybrid sort of definition of what's going on overseas but it's pretty current and I think it's a lot more current than the rest of the country in terms of um, diversity and creativity. This cross-pollination of music that's going on right now in the South African music scene is amazing. You know, like, again, the hip-hop guys going to go with the rock guys, you know, the, the, you know, the dance music producers getting together with uh, you know, certain vocalists from different bands. So things are very cool right now. Things are you know, very hip and happening. Guys that I'm exposed to here blow me away 9 out of 10 other times more than someone who comes in from overseas that you spend so much money on and then you go to the events and they're actually not that much of a, of a wow factor. Growing up here when we used to travel overseas and stuff, uh, when we were much younger, uh, everyone else was kind of on that on the hip-hop level and everything like that and Cape Town was already starting to to really make dance a, a popular sound and you know people were coming out the woodworks from everywhere making really really awesome unique sound and it's like specifically Cape Town with the whole fidget style and everything like that but everything started coming out and the whole dance scene has just progressed to a completely international level and I think that that's the sound that Pascal and Pierce are bringing. Myself and Pascal work really well together because I mean he's played everything from hip-hop to funky house to electro to trance and he's really been exposed to all the genres of dance music. I studied music and part of the course was to be exposed to everything. We played jazz, we played sambas, we played everything and we just, we try and incorporate as much as we've learned so far into everything we do and I mean I, I think it would be impossible to put a genre in our music. I'd like to say that we were DJs that evolved into producers, but at the same time, you know, it's a bit of both because, as Dave said, he was a producer before, I was the DJ before, so the two entities came to one and pretty much, as we say, as DJs into producers, so. I taught Pasky everything I know. I'm still teaching Pasky everything I know, and Pasky is still teaching me everything he knows. And there's no better way to learn than from a friend, so. Uh, what's up? We're doing it. We can go from one style to a completely different style just from Pusky playing a track to myself playing a track that I really like. Two heads, better than one, always. People are going to go to nightclubs and venues 
not only to just see that that DJ plays there, but like, how are you going to entertain me? It's a live show, um, not just a DJ show. I think the, the way Cape Townians generally work is something that's new, they tend to latch onto quite quickly and they'll, they'll, they'll run with it. Unfortunately, they're quite fickle as well by the same token. So when the next new thing comes along, then they just jump onto that. Before we even met Pascal and Pierce, um, we always kind of saw them as, you know, the cool DJs in the, in the underage clubbing days when we go out and, uh, you know, we just loved the beats that they were putting out. And uh, so we, we knew that we really wanted to do something with them and then happened to actually meet Dave um, outside of Flash Republic music video shoot on the street. And we did a remix for Side of My Pocket for their first album. Um, and we basically just became mates with the guys, really dug what they were doing. And then when we started working on our album from the start, we knew we wanted a track with Lockenville. When we heard the beat for When the Sun Goes Down, uh, we just all started kind of singing, you know, we bring it out, baby, only when the sun goes down. And uh, we were kind of all laughing about it at first, at the simplicity, and then, then decide this is actually really cool, this could actually work. We bring it out, baby, only when the sun goes down. We bring it out, baby, only when the sun goes down. We just get out, baby, only when the sun goes down. We bring it out, baby, only when the sun goes down. You know, when the sun goes down, it's just one of those special tracks that's just got our musical influence and their whole vocal influence on it down to the team. Club slash beach, you know, anywhere it can be played and it's just, you know, one of those songs that either if you're jamming in, in a car or you're on the beach watching a sunset, it's that kind of party song, you know? Only when the sun goes down. You know, Cape Town has the potential to be the dance capital of Africa. Mm. You know, it's we've we've travelled to Ibiza a couple of times now, and when you come back to Cape Town, you can feel the potential. We look towards the future. We hope not only to take our Pascal and Pierce brand as far as we can take it, but just to help educate and grow dance music in this country as much as possible. It's time. It's time for South Africa to catch up. We're not at the bottom of Africa anymore. It's 2011. Let's make it happen. Raining day and night. <laughs>